U.S. Water Rockets MSP430 Launch Pad Electronics Tutorial How to Change MSP430 Launch Pad Male to Female Headers Prior to version 1.5, the MSP430 Launch Pad ship with no headers installed. It now ships with male headers installed so that booster packs can be used without any soldering. The male headers present a problem for hobbyists and educators who prefer to prototype with breadboard because the male headers do not mate with breadboard jumpers. This tutorial will show you a quick and painless way to swap the male headers for the female ones which TI thoughtfully provided in the launch pad box. You will only need a few common tools for this project. A soldering iron and solder, some solder wick, a sharp hobby knife, and a small flat bladed screwdriver. Before you begin, don't forget your eye protection. Start out by taking your hobby knife and pry up one corner of the plastic base of the male header. Now take your flat screwdriver and pry up the plastic base until you can pull it off. Don't worry if you break the plastic piece or mangle the pins, we're going to be discarding the male header bits anyhow. Flip the board over and hit each header pin with some fresh solder so that you get flux from your solder wire into each joint. The flux will break down the oxidation and make the solder easier to remove. Put a tool or other solid object under your launch pad to raise it about a half an inch. Now all you have to do is hit each pin with your soldering iron until the solder has melted. Then tap the board on your spacer and let Sir Isaac Newton remove each pin. Repeat this process for both of your headers. There will usually be some solder left in the holes which you can remove with solder wick. Lay the solder wick over each hole and heat the opposite side with your soldering iron until capillary action draws the solder up into the wick. Desolder each of the holes with a fresh section of solder wick. Alternatively, you can use a spring-loaded solder removal pump. You simply push in the plunger and press the release which creates a vacuum at the tip. This makes quick work of the solder. Simply heat the solder until it melts and then quickly hit it with the vacuum. Check your work by holding the board up to a light to see that the holes are clear. Next, you simply drop in your female headers and flip the board over so that the board rests on the headers. Tack one of the pins near the center of each header with some solder. Flip the board over and check that the headers are perfectly straight. If one is crooked, you will understand why we said to only tack one pin on each header, because adjusting one pin is a lot easier than adjusting all ten. When you're satisfied that the connectors are perfectly straight, you can finish up by soldering the remaining pins. That's it, you're all finished. You can now prototype your MSP430 launch pad projects using breadboards and jumpers. For additional information, other online tutorials, and many more free rocket electronics projects and software, please visit uswaterrockets.com. Thanks for watching.